What's up YouTube, this is Nicholas's Figure Reviews and this is the video review for SH Figot Kamen Rider Chaser Type Speed or Kamen Rider Pro Drive. Alright, so this figure was a uh, Tamashi uh, 2015 event exclusive. So it's either you order it online or uh, go somewhere far to get it. So yeah, I just managed to get this and stuff so yeah just going on since this is an exclusive or anything that's special to it you have the usual brown shipment box so as it regards come right pro drive and if you open this up you can see how sexily different the box is god look at that layout really nice silhouette of pro drive over here so i'll be taking out the regular drive type speed packaging you can see a lot of differences and as the box has a bit of a gloss texture to it so that's that's really nice you have the black background like again silhouette of uh proto drive over here sh3 gods blurb camera the drive logo tamashi nations bandai toy company symbol top bottom right left and back so you don't have any actual pictures of the figure itself so without further ado i'll just open this guy up and let you guys take a closer look at the figure so stay tuned all right guys we're back and here we have Kamen Rider Proto Drive out of the packaging all right so my first impressions of this figure it's positive it's really positive because if you can see the figure is the armor like the armor that's supposed to be red of course, it's in a black paint, but not only that, the black paint is in a matte texture, so that feels really nice, especially on a premium figure like this. And God, the amount of detail that you see, this looks better than Type Speed already. All right, so before I actually jump in, he's gonna put Proto Drive here, and I'll put in his other form, Machine Chaser. So Machine Chaser slightly shorter. And of course, type dead heat, just favorite form once again for SHF. And lastly, drive type speed, which is the uh, descendant of this form, basically. So, of course, like as any other SHF, he scales well with the others. So, putting them away, I'll put it, I'll put drive speed, drive type speed back just in case for any comparisons in the future. Alright, so. First look at the figure, lots of nice matte on the armor and very nice silver paint silver paint apps. As usual on the drive driver knee pads, hubcap over here, shift brace, sexy compound eyes, and the helmet detail overall. So lots of nice piping over there. As you can see the burn marks over here. Nicely painted as well. And as you can see, you have orange detail instead of the usual translucent red. Oh yeah, this is a transparent piece but painted on, but that's fine. So you have metallic purple, which uh, adds on to the color scheme really well. And gives the character a bit more life. Glossy undersuit, as usual, that will wear off in like a few months. And you have the Pro Drive tire, or no tire, if you know what I mean, because yeah, Pro Drive doesn't have a tire. Alright, so going on to the head detail, you can see it's pretty much the same type speed head sculpt, but except you don't come with a spoiler. But it looks really nice overall, and you can see that decker on the head with that blue line. It's really nicely printed. No splotches, no nothing. It's really clean, executed really well. Chest tire basically it's done in a really dark gunmetal color and it looks really nice as well of the pipe detailing and of course the undersuit mesh and all that so really all you need to know about proto drive it's just a repaint of type speed with some tweaks here and there but of course this this guy is better than proto drive all right so for accessories, he only comes with the usual 
four extra hands, the widespread open hand and the pose hands which are slightly more relaxed as you can see and these are the usual widespread open ones and you don't come with any holding hands and that's kind of unfortunate but it's kind of reasonable because the weapons weren't made at that time when Proto Drive came out alright so switching hands not that hard you just pop off a hand put on like this it's kind of hard for first try because the figure is still new but you get it there eventually for the shift car it's not painted okay not at all but it's not accurately painted I'm just gonna take it out and focus to let you guys take a closer look As you can see it's the usual type speed shift car except it's a matte black it has the silver paint for the shifting compartment some other silver if you to give it more detail but i'm just disappointed that they didn't add the lines but it's kind of reasonable because the lines are hard to add in especially for a item this small all right so articulation wise pretty much the same as type speed or any other shf that you're gonna get so ball joint on the head, ball joint on the neck, so you get a lot of movement and he can look left more naturally because he doesn't really have that huge tire blocking and all that. So you can look left, look right in all directions and you get a 360 turn. You have the pull out cylindrical joints that come with tight speed that pull out this far, ball jointed shoulder pads with a hinge to adjust. Universal joints that go out, ball joint, shoulder, front, back, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist joint which has a swivel, a hinge and a ball joint and excuse me I'm gonna put the shift car back, lower torso, I mean for upper torso movement you have a hinge and a ball joint so you can pull up the body but this helps a lot especially for the pull up joint because you can pull the body up and it gives you a better ab crunch. It's even deeper than the type speed. Just gonna compare it. Because type speed has that really big tire. So really impressive. You have a rotation, lower torso rotation, and a ball joint as well, so you can walk side to side. Universal hip joints that go front, back, out, so you can do full split, thigh swivel, double jointed knees that give a really huge bend. And you have the ankle tilt, front back rotation, and the toe joint. So, more tweaks to this figure from type speed. I mean, more improvements, if you know what I mean. So, he's more poseable than type speed because of his head movement, because he doesn't have a huge tire, like I mentioned. And the cool thing is, you can change tires with him. Alright, so I'm going to use Midnight Shadow because the color scheme fits even better on Proto Drive over here due to his already painted metallic uh, purple. So, to change tires, it's pretty much the same. You're just going to take out Midnight Shadow Shift Car, take off the driver window and replace it with the Midnight Shadow one. Just going to do that. I'm just going to pop the driver back on. For Shift Car, I'm just going to take the Shift Car, put it somewhere safe and don't throw it away. Put on the Midnight Shadow one and make sure it stays firmly because, you know, square pack, pretty simple. Alright, so you're pretty much done, but for extra accuracy, you're just gonna take off the tire. Alright, so this is actually different from type speed because this is hard plastic and it's not made of rubber or any some sort. So, to tr what, what Bandai did is that they sculpted tiny gaps for your fingers for your fingernails to fit in so it will be easier to pull the tire apart so the way this tire pulls apart is pretty much the same as other uh the other tires like max flare funky spike and midnight shadow so they just pull half the part so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna find a gap one over here and one under here you're just gonna put your fingernails in there you're just gonna give it a slight push Pull it out like this simple as that and for the other side you're just gonna bring it out like this 
and you're just gonna pop in Midnight Shadow, accordion and packs together, and you're done. As you can see, the purple is different, but it fits the color scheme really well still, and it looks really beautiful. So that's that. So here we have Type Speed and Proto Drive standing side by side together in their signature poses, and as you can already see, lots of obvious and huge differences to each of them. So matte black, you have the glossy red, no spoiler, and this overall has more better detail than him, but of course, Type Speed is still great as a figure itself. And yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. On my overall thoughts of this figure, I give him a 10 over 10 because this figure is just perfect. Lots of really nice paint apps, better improvements from Drive Type Speed because when I first got Drive Type Speed, he became really loose after like a few days or two. And when I take off, took the figure off the packaging, he has like flying limbs and stuff. So I took Proto Drive off his the packaging for the first time and it feels really solid and it doesn't look like he's gonna fall apart in any second and I'm really happy about that that's always really nice to see and of course the matte black used on this figure is perfect and the metallic paint as well gives the cap gives pro drive a bit more character as a figure and of course it looks better on camera as you can see over here all right so I guess that's pretty much it for the review if you enjoyed this review, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe below. Subscribing to my channel would really help my channel a lot, so I'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe. This is Nicholas's Figure Reviews signing out, and I hope to see you guys in another video, and I hope you guys enjoy.